Hey there. So in today's video, I'm going to be removing some tires. Uh, I'm just not going to be doing it in the usual way. Uh, usually you would, you know, use tire spoons if you're doing it manually, or a tire mate changing machine if you have one of those. Um, I don't have either of those, and I'm not changing the tires anyway. Uh, these are just getting scrapped. Um, <clears throat> I do want to use the, the tread for another project, and I want to save the wheels. These are going to be cast down into ingot first. Uh, check that out in the next video. But for now, I just need to get rid of these as quickly as I can. They're taking up way too much shop space, and you know I have some other projects coming up. I need the space. So I got four of these to, to destroy. Uh, the first one I'm going to cut apart as if you know trying to do it carefully, as if I'm trying not to damage the wheel. In case some of you actually want to use this for changing tires. Uh, I will be using a sawzall, so if you scratch your wheels with that, especially along the bead, you know, you're always going to be losing air pressure. Um, so if you are doing this at home, be careful about that. Um, so I have four of these total. The first one I'll be doing carefully. The second one, I'm going to be cutting apart while it's still uh, inflated. Probably about to about 30 pounds per square inch. Um, just want to see how much force they have when they burst. Uh, just out of curiosity, if I don't blow myself up with that one, the third one I will inflate even higher, maybe 50 psi. See what happens with that. And the last one, I'm just going to let it burst. I'm going to leave the compressor on until it just pops. All right, so let's get started with the first one. So first, I'm going to deinflate this. Uh, I'm using a, a tire stem remover tool for that. This has two little notches on the sides. And it's kind of like a screwdriver, pretty much. You just stick it in the core, try to get it to lock into those little notches in the in the uh, the core. And then start unscrewing it. So these are really easy to lose, uh, especially when you're taking it out of the core. They, the pressure from the tire wants to just throw it across the room. So try to hold on to it if you're uh, saving these and actually reinstalling a tire later. Alright, now that this has no pressure in it, let's start cutting it apart. So I'm going to cut this across, across the tread and then all the way around the, uh, the sidewall and hopefully the I won't have to break the bead that way, it should just fall apart. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so I'm all the way around the sidewall. Let's see how easy it is to, to pull this away from the, the rim. This is really stuck. Let me grab some tools. Alright, so I'm going to use a, a putty knife and a screwdriver. Just, I'm using this just so it doesn't scratch the wheel and then using this to pry it away. Goes the putty knife. Let's try cutting some more. Treads removed. I'm gonna get rid of that. Now I just have to get these sidewalls off. All 
Alright. Now that comes off real easy. Only problems, if you were actually changing your tires, you just destroyed the wheel. Alright, let me do that on the other side real quick. That still didn't make it through. Almost. Does seem to be dulling the blade quite a bit too. the other side. One wheel, one wheel ready to melt. Alright, up next I'm going to do the, the one where I'm in, cutting it open while it's still inflated. Alright, 40 psi. Let's just go with that. Let's go, see how this turns out. <laughs> Surprisingly, it didn't actually burst. 40 psi, it just kind of left a slit. It didn't actually go anywhere outside of where I was cutting. So, worked out surprisingly well. Alright, let me just tear this one apart and get to the next one. There's the last piece of that one. Alright, up next, I'm going to do the uh, next tire with, say, 50 to 60 psi. See if that one actually bursts. If it does the same thing as the uh, as this one. Well, unfortunately this tire has a leak. Looks like it has a nail in it. Right there. So it won't get past what is this? 30 psi. I think I'm just gonna cut this one up and then burst the other tire. All right, so this is the, the car they came from. And this is obviously why those tires are no longer needed. Yeah, I'm just chopping this thing apart. The engine's still good, so it'll be built into something else. So this has no air in it. It's gonna take a little while to uh, to fill. So. Right, so this compressor is getting a bit warm again. Uh, it's time to let it to cool down again. Almost 150 degrees. It's also just about maxed out at its pressure. Right now it's at uh, almost 120 psi, and this thing still hasn't burst. Alright, so when I stopped last, uh, this compressor was about maxed out. Looks like it lost a little pressure while I've been waiting. It's about 100 right now. So this was about 120 last time, and it still wasn't bursting. So, this time I'm going to let it get up to 130. This just about maxes out what the uh, compressor will do, and then I'm going to cut it. <laughs> I really don't want to be near it when this cuts though, so I set up a saw on a string. It's on a pulley, and I'll drop it when it gets to 130. Alright, so now it's at 130 PSI, it's time to cut it apart.
All right, so that last one didn't go as I was expecting, but at least I got some shop space back. Four tires turned into this. I got some tire tread to use for the next project. I got some wheels to melt down.